Because if we and like the stakes are high, because if we break, then we're in trouble. Yeah. As long as we keep it together, we're good. Yeah. Yo. Trump Burger went viral recently, and it stirred up a lot of controversy online about how far right and terrible it seems. People have been describing it as a meeting place for an angry mob of Trump supporters. A support group for the politically disabled. But when I saw this, I also saw that it's in Bellevue, Texas, which is just an hour and a half away from me. So I decided I wanted to go undercover, infiltrated, and see if I can interact with some of these QAnon dipshits that hang out there. So a few days ago, I got out my phone and called their number. Trump Burger, hello. Howdy, uh, my name's Cooper. I got his personal number. <laughs> but first things first, I decided to change my appearance, so I took off everything that makes me look handsome. Taking off the nail polish was crucial because Trump supporters love to identify each other by their raw, naked nails. You're just gonna show off your bare keratin like that? Okay, whore. And this part sucked, but I had to dress the part. <sighs> this, this is God's country, God damn it! this is God, Jesus Christ! Jesus. For a mission like this, though, I couldn't do it alone, so I called up my friend Benjamin Jefferson to help me document everything. <laughs> what do you think? Oh yeah, I love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is like Christmas to me. Oh yeah, this is like a glove. My head is burning already, already. <laughs> I can feel Rosa Parks from Wakanda, the Wakanda and Ancestral plane. Like. We, gotta, we gotta listen to like some Blake Shelton or something on the way, though. <laughs> So I'm proud to be an American. Oh my God, Coop. We in it now. You're covering SpongeBob with Trump. As it should be. One king for another. <laughs> That's how all their profile pics be. <laughs> black, black Trump supporters, they be like, they be, they be like, go like that. Something about this though, I mean, we're handsome men, but we look ugly right now. <laughs> And then we started driving the hour and a half that it was going to take to get there. Just talking about our expectations and worries for what was about to happen. Here's the thing, what do we do if the burger is actually busted? If the burger's fine, I'm going to say it. The restaurant even existing is what's stupid about yeah. it. Yeah. A burger's a burger. A burger's a, and burgers be busting regardless. Yeah. We're going to get at least one person that's going to motion to me for to co-sign on their racism. Right. On their like stereotype of black people. Now, and what's your move if they look to you? I'm gonna be like, right, right. I'm gonna think, like, we cannot break character. That's ever. the thing. Like, even That's when we're thing. filming and, like, if something funny happens, like, we can't be like, because <laughs> even that, everybody's gonna, they're gonna see. They're gonna, they're gonna pick up on that. And even if, even if, like, we don't get kicked out, they might, they might be like, somebody sees us across the aisle interviewing somebody else, and then we ask them, and they're like, nah. Yeah, 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 because then they're gonna clam up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm nervous of looking in someone's eyes and then questioning, like, yeah, is this breaking. legit? Yes, I think that is that is gonna be the most uncomfortable thing. But the shutdown and- The shutdown and the, like, if they catch on, we don't really have a leg to stand on, because we are blatantly, like, mocking them. Yeah, And, like, so they have a right to be mad. Right, right. So then it's like, now they're legit mad or whatever. Right. And, like, that's understandable, and, like, we don't have, like, a, like, like a like a response to that, cause like yeah. they're gonna be mad. Cause all we can do is what just like lie more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love how he just buried his wife on a golf course Ta to get out of taxes. <laughs> is that facts? That's facts. <laughs> cause I've I've talked to people who are like I voted for him, but I didn't want to. Right, they they're not the ones with the merch. This. Yeah, I don't know a single person who it, like has worn this that I have ever. I don't even know if I've like. I don't think I know anybody personally that has one. That like has bought it. Which I think is a good sign for who we surround ourselves with. Yeah. Because we can't break, that's the thing. Because if we, and like the stakes are high, because if we break, then we're in trouble. Yeah. As long as we keep it together, we're good. Yeah. Yo. Hey, yo. We just got here and I realized I missed the spot. Oh, God. Tie me. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's not. It's gonna be fine. You want to turn around? The plan was to film it like a satirical Fox News segment, but that quickly fell apart, and you'll see why in a second. But that's why I start out doing a little man on the street bit. Today we're going to a special place. It's Trump Burger, and it's the grand opening. The plan today is to eat some good food and meet some good people. We're in Bellevue, Texas, and we're uh, we're about to head on in there. So come on in. Hello, hello. Hi guys. We're here. Oh, I had called earlier about. Right, right. Oh, and we were thinking about maybe just uh, eating outside over there and then maybe coming in if anybody wants to give an interview. The dude that's working there that I talked to on the phone, he asked us to step outside so that he could clean up in there before we filmed. But when we sat down on the patio, he followed us, so I decided to ask some questions and try to get some information. I found out about it. I saw on Fox News they were talking about, like, it was on yeah. Twitter or something. The media was talking about it. 
Right. We're in Houston, it's like very big city, big city. Right. So I, I, I do enjoy coming out here and, um, you know, this feels more like home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go order some burgers too. You can't go to Trump Burger and not get a Trump Burger. Right, right, right. What's the right. point? But where, where gets dirty, guys? At this part, I think he uh, started to question our legitimacy, so I had to improvise a bit and reestablish trust. Yes, for uh, Sam Houston uh, State University, it's in Huntsville. It's like uh, it's an hour and a half east of here is where we are. Oh, it's a long trip. Yeah, we we had seen it uh, on Twitter and we're like. Also, it was so. It, it just made me so mad seeing all that stuff that they were saying about it. Yeah, it's about the name. I mean, the people comes and say like, uh, "Why you uh, why you think? Why what are you think?" Right, right. Yeah, what? Yeah. What are you think? Uh, are you crazy? Uh... When this when this started, was it necessarily? I wouldn't think it's to rile up negativity necessarily. Yeah. Well, uh, the same the same day, uh, Fox News make a post and everything. Uh, an account of, of Instagram. You see, a good name, you know, but it's a burger place. Like, like, right. like the brand more, more so than it's anything. A, yeah. It's a, it's a burger place. Okay, let me move this. Oh, so that part right there, that's important. He made it a very clear point to emphasize that it's a burger place, first and foremost. Which, you know, it's not. <laughs> but I think that says more about him, where he... Throughout the whole time that we're talking to him, um, he said that he didn't want to be shown on video. That's why I've like blurred his face. But also, when we would be in character saying things that a Trump supporter would say, he didn't really like agree with us. He didn't seem like the type of guy who is a Trump supporter. And after multiple conversations with him, he made it clear that he's barely been working there for a few months, and he wasn't really sharing any pro-Trump sentiments. So, you know, he seemed like a guy that was just flipping burgers for a paycheck. So I didn't want to like disrespect him and show him on camera. He just seems like a guy trying to pay his bills, and I didn't want to be a dick. The real pieces of shit are the guy who owns it and then the people who go there. You know what I mean? I personally wouldn't work there, but I don't know this guy's whole story. At so just, okay, that's that. And re-emphasize, He's not the owner, he's just an employee. More on the owner later, cause that guy sucks. And you know, it helps that a little bit later I did interview someone who was on camera and you know, they were embarrassing enough. <laughs> okay, but let's jump back right after that dude went inside and Ben and I had a little bit of privacy for a moment. Right now it is, uh, it's 6.53. It's prime dinner time. We have seen two other people uh, here and one of them was filming it seemingly as a joke as well. <laughs> I mean, as we're filming this, I'm starting to think that maybe I went into this thinking it's a place where there's a bunch of people and it's bustling and it's hopping and it's negative, but it's looking like it's just dead and people don't care anymore, which is, you know, good. <laughs> and now it's time to eat a Trump burger. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right? My review is the burger was genuinely not good. I'm, so, I'm thinking so many thoughts right now. They're like counterintuitive to what I thought like coming in. Right, okay. Well, like it's, when I saw that it was blown up on Twitter, it's so crazy to think that something that like went so viral, it was only going viral for negative reasons. And in my mind, I'm thinking all press is good press. So, maybe no. <laughs> okay, so right as this was happening, two guys pulled up and tried to get in, um, but the guy who was working there had already locked the door. It was seven o'clock and he already closed for the whole day. We asked one of the guys off camera what he'd come there for and it was just a bumper sticker, like he wasn't even looking for food. Here we are at prime dinner time and Benjamin and I are the only ones who've actually come and eaten food. These two other people are the only people we've seen this whole time that have bought anything. Like it's empty. I, I need to emphasize that, that. it's empty. And it was six o'clock, we got there at six o'clock and then I got our food at seven, nobody was eating. It's dinner time, nobody's eating. And the emptiness of what I thought would be a packed restaurant became much more compelling to me and I started to, you know, lean into that aspect of what we were observing. So when the second guy who was there had come out with some fries he'd ordered to go, I stopped him to ask a few questions. I'm trying to uh, showcase this business and ask people who come here like a couple questions because it went viral in like the media recently. Oh, know, yeah. People were talking about it. How did you feel when you saw stuff like that like in the media where they were talking about this place? I'm pretty proud because I live here and You're I've been Bellevue. here before, yeah. So. Okay. So, How long yeah. have you been coming here? Um, off and on uh, since they opened. Okay. How long ago did they open? 
it's been a couple years. I want to say it was because see, he actually had a cafe in town and okay. he moved it out here. Oh, okay. Because we saw the grand opening and we and yeah. we had seen like on Twitter, so we thought yeah. this is like a new thing. Yeah. And are these the same people that have run it the whole yeah. time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Did they run the cafe too? Yeah, it was the same guy. I wanted to get to the bottom of why this place was so empty. So for this man who is seemingly so familiar with this place, he was the guy who'd have the answers. So you're from Bellevue? Yeah, I live here. Okay. Has it, has it always, like, when they opened it, has it been a place that, like, was like a gathering place? Because that's the way that it seemed when, like, the news was oh, talking yeah, about Oh, yeah. In 2020, you would see buses. Oh, really? There. Yeah. People would come out and they'd have big banners on the side, you know, 2020 and right. different groups. Yeah, they would, they would come out here in buses and it was... I mean, it was, it was popular, very popular. And then also, I had one question in mind before we got there, so I, I had to meme him a little bit. Um, we're here from Huntsville. We're student filmmakers, and we, we it's, it's just been something that's been growing progressively more and more and more. Like, it's about diversity and inclusion, and it's all about, like, PC culture. And it seems like this is the type of place where they're not, I guess, shoving politics down your throat. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's getting depressing. <laughs> Right, right. Watching the news and all the back and forth. Right. It's good to come to a place like this where you're kind of away from the political nature of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, great food, like I said. I ended the interview and let the man head back home. But when I walked inside of Trump Burger, I saw something that blew my mind. Like, this next part, this is just... It's insane. Check this shit out. Trump burger represented January 6th, 2021. Dude, that's... You could go to prison. This has been Trump burger. Uh, the burgers are great, just like I expected. And the people that we met are great, just like I expected. We thank the worker for letting us film there, and then we headed out to unpack what we had just experienced, because that was weird. That is way more interesting than I ever could have imagined. Yeah. Because I think the, the boring thing, oh, it's this place where a bunch of Republicans gather together, and it's their community, and it's annoying. That's what I thought going into it. Right. It's empty. It's yeah. dead. Yeah. It was definitely like a gift shop that sells burgers, is what it was. That was its vibe. Yeah. And it was empty like a gift shop in a mall that's been yeah, yeah. closed for years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seemed like, you know what it seemed like? It seemed like somebody just bought a bunch of Trump merch and also just likes to sell burgers. And so then, then <laughs> and then he went to an insurrection. And yeah, and then just popped out at the insurrection like and then posted it on the wall. On the wall. How do you feel like after this as far as expectations and now that you now that you know the reality? It was a definitely an interesting experience, like eye opening. I'm not as mad as it, as I thought I was. Because in my mind, there's nobody to get mad at. There's nobody to get mad at. It's abandoned. So it's like it speak. It speak. It's like it like speaks poorly of Donald Trump in a different way than I thought. Yes, because they're trying to capitalize on the brand of Donald Trump, and nobody gives a shit. And the brand is weak. The brand right is now. weak. Yeah, because I did. And so then, how you're saying, how, how what do I think about the whole thing as a concept? Like, I think like, how much do we hold them responsibility? Hold them responsible for capitalizing on such a toxic, evil brand. Exactly, exactly. And the thing is, I'm not going to get mad at the dude who's like flipping burgers in yeah. this place. Yeah, yeah. Tr- you're like you're saying, he's trying to support his family, he's trying to feed his family. We're not, we're not putting him on camera, we're not throwing him under the bus. Right. But the dude who owns that company yeah. went to January 6th, yeah, that is, yeah. took a picture and posted it on the wall. Yeah. That is not something that's like, oh, it's sad, his business is failing. That dude should be in prison. That's not even something of, we're liberals, we disagree with him on policy, we disagree, no. oh, he's, pro, he's pro-life. he's pro or whatever, yeah, or this, yeah. that, and the third, this issue, that issue, we disagree with him, so he's evil. It's not even about that. It's he like, went to a coup. It's an active, like, actual coup. Where people died. I don't, I do not like Liz Cheney. Yeah. But even she recognizes that that is fucking insane. To yeah. go to an insurrection. Yeah. And the guy who owns Trump Burger. Was there. And and is, and is proud of it, like, as if it doesn't see anything wrong, which speaks to how far off the deep end these people are. Even after all of that, after all of that craziness, it's empty. <laughs> the brand is, and so like that's perfectly sums up the Trump brand because it's all of this yes. fanfare for nothing. Gilded shit. Like, yes. Yeah, the brand is like, oh, it's gonna be this big thing. It's yes. gonna be hella people there. Bro, we booked the Four Seasons. <laughs> Type B. <laughs> the Four Seasons Lawn and Gardening. That was crazy. <laughs> that is what Trump Burger just yeah, was. Yes, yes, yes. It was, yes. That, 
Yes, yes. That in a nutshell. I went into this expecting high intensity interviews in the lion's den, but what we saw was so much more compelling to me. A burger restaurant that no one wants to eat at, Trump merch that's staying firmly on the shelves, and an insurrectionist proudly displaying his crime to an empty restaurant praying that Trump will run in 2024 so that people will care again. Hey yo, that's crazy. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it.